What's up, everybody? I wanted to uh, make a video. Obviously, you guys have probably seen this thing around a million times. It's uh, the Harman Kardon Onyx Studio. I wanted to make a uh, video disassembling it. It's one I haven't seen yet. And I personally want to take it apart because I want to try to figure out a way to be able to remove these legs because I'm going to throw this whole thing in my bag for work. And uh, it would be awesome if I could just pop these legs off easily, which right now they don't. They're on there pretty firm. So uh, basically, I'll show you how you uh, how you'd be starting out with. You have your speaker grill on, obviously. Make sure you can see here. I'm doing this on my phone. You have your speaker grill on like this. Down here, there's a uh, little notch. You can get your finger in there and just kind of pull, and this is just gonna pop off. It's just in with like some rubber grommets. Set that aside, and then you've got five of these little screws here, and it's a uh, real small Allen. I used a star bit with my uh, screw gun. I used one of these, popped them right off. I have mine unscrewed already, but you're just gonna go through and you know unscrew them. Obviously, that's what you do. Get them all out here. Put those to the side. You see, they're real tiny. So after that, it should essentially just open right up. Yep. Just real gently. There's a lot of wires in here, so. Guys, quit barking. Sorry, my dogs are all out here. I'm gonna disconnect these wires. Most of them should just pull right out. If not, a little flathead might help. Oh, yep. Okay, there we go. So in this thing, you've got three wires that need to be undone. You've got this one, and they're all clip wires, so they just you just pinch the little thing and pull them out. you got these three. So down here, this is your uh, charging and updating, so it's you got your micro USB and your power, which is what these two are. And then this one up here is your battery. It's a Surprised at how small that battery actually is for uh, this ginormous device. Then in here you got your speakers and your motherboard and all that. This is where all the weights at. And you got your uh, little tweeters right there. Your big woofers. Your other passive radiator. If you're uh, curious what the passive radiator is, it's literally just basically a speaker that moves free air like just there's no wires hooked up to it it's not actually a speaker that makes sound it's just when the bass hits from these little woofers right here these little ones these little drivers these move in and out you know making the air move so these move with that basically it just lets it get a little bit deeper bass i've heard with and without them not obviously this speaker individually but i've heard speakers without them speakers with them I don't typically notice a huge difference, so I don't know how big of a difference they actually make, but uh seems like the uh, real popular thing that a lot of these little speakers are adding nowadays, so maybe in a small uh, chamber like this it does actually make a difference. But uh, yeah, this would definitely be a way to replace your battery, uh, even add another battery, which is what I might do in the future, because you've got plenty of room in here to buy another one of these and stuff them in and you know splice your wires together if you want to like upgrade your speakers or something like that it's definitely the way to do it and then there's that front passive radiator right there that one's just all uh, rubber if you can actually see in there which I don't think you can because my lights behind it but yeah that's what the inside looks like so uh, as for what I'm trying to do here I will have to take this off and it looks like there's some screws behind there. Same size screws, cool. I like that when uh, something uses all the same size. I hate take something apart and you got 
40 million other screws in there. Hmm. Still not popping off. I don't want to force it and break it, but uh, took those screws off. It's still not coming off. Okay, it looks like what I gotta do. Um, these little feet right here have these uh, rubber feet on them. Pull those out, and then there's another screw way down in there which my drill is not going to reach. Neither is my Allen. So I might be stuck. But uh, that's basically how you disassemble the whole thing. I'll pop the battery off too just to show you. Pop that cover off, then you got this little tiny battery. That powers this huge thing for supposedly five hours. That's crazy. It's a uh, 2600 milliamp hour, 3.7 volts, 9.62 watt hours. That is crazy how small that is. This, here's a uh, here's my little GoPro. Show you how small that is. That powers this whole thing. That's crazy. I would uh, probably definitely if I do keep this one, it all you know all depends on how it sounds at work, which is what I plan on using it for. If I keep this one, I'll probably add another one of these or two of these at least. Man, that would be uh, some crazy battery life on this loud thing. So then you just put that back on, put your screws in. and snug. I don't want to crank these things down, just make sure they're nice and snug and not going to loosen up at all. And then to uh, put it back together, you basically just reverse it. Make sure I can uh, show this here. You're going to plug this one in. Um, okay, yep. I had it upside down, that's why. This big one right here plugs in right here. Make sure you can see that. Sorry, I'm not even looking at my phone here. This big wire right here plugs into this one. This little black one plugs in over up here. It's black as well. And then this white one plugs in right under this large one. It's right there. When they just snap in, they're only going to go in one way, so don't force them. Here's the uh, Bluetooth antenna that uh, that little guy right there goes all the way down here and then up to here. Probably a way to uh, boost your uh, signal too. I don't know quite how far this thing reaches yet, but. Well, hope that helps somebody. So once you plug those in, just throw it back on there, tighten your screws, and you're all set. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope that helps somebody. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you got to do. I appreciate it. Thank you.